yes! This is Tazzle here, welcome to Tazzle 2 cast, yes! Welcome to my Halloween special! Yes, yes! And I don't got candy, damn it! So guys, get off my porch, because you know what? I Yeah, me, I'm out of candy, but I'll say this. Guys, you probably guys are wondering, why am I not dressed up? And I'm just like, oh yeah. And I'm like, oh, I looked in the mirror, and I even, I was talking to Steve, and I'm like, Steve, there's not enough makeup in all of, uh, in all of, uh, friggin', like, you know, in all L'Oreal, just to cover all this shit up. But, you know, anyways, anyways, but, you know, you know, you know, but that's all different like that. But, uh, Steve, Steve, yes, a couple things we gotta do before, yes, yeah, Steve's all dressed up, he's all in his little, he's in his outfit, yes, where, where are you supposed to be, Steve? What? Are you kidding me? Steve. Steve, you're supposed to be nothing but a freaking gopher. That doesn't work because you don't, you haven't, you have a tail. Steve! That's the last time I talk. I had a little argument with my little beaver friend there, but yes, I'll say this, uh, there's some little rules out there, because you know what, you guys, you understand that when it comes out trigger training, that you younger guys out there, that you should understand that there's some rules, and make sure that your parents, like, touch your candy first, I know I hate when I, you know, I'm, you know Steve, I'm gonna have to go through your candy, but, uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I, I used to hate it when I was a kid, when my parents would go through my candy, but yes, guys, let your parents go through your candy and let... They're not taking anything, I swear to God. I swear to God, they're not taking anything. But in Steve's case, I'm not sure. But anyways, guys, no. Let your parents go through your candy because it makes it all safe and shit like that. So guys, have fun with trick-or-treating. But yes, have fun. But no, with me, I just haven't really dressed up because I was like, hey, uh... I opened the door and I'm like, I don't know. There's too many lumberjack guys, and, you know, turkey trading, and I'm like, I don't think that's gonna work, you know, if I get out and fly and stuff like that, my, my girlfriend goes, oh my god, you look so good and fly, and I'm like, fuck, no. But anyways, guys, you know, we're just waiting for our next guest, yes, yes, okay. Oh, that, there's a doorbell, Steve, go get the door, because you know what, Steve, do your freaking job. Steve, don't, 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 don't make that look at me, Steve. I say we're Ercy. I will- Steve, 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 I will sell you, I swear to god. No, he's- I'm just kidding, guys. No, he's just opening. He's opening the door, okay. Alright, hey, how you doing, man? How you doing? Hey, 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 what's up, man? Hey, 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 guys, and if you guys don't know, yes, we are talking to Notorious Mike! Yes, guys! So give him a round of applause, man. Yes, welcome, welcome to, yes, thank you, thank you for joining us on this spooky evening, you know, we might, you know, have some laughs, some candy, you know, I'm not sure because, yes, alright, I just gotta ask you, what was your, when you were growing up as a kid, what was your favorite type of candy out there? Favorite type of candy? Candy. Let's see. I mean, there it's gonna... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh the... I think like the ones, the green, the green ones used to just drive me insane. But then after a while, like, you know, it was really the real sour ones. My girlfriend, she can eat those like nothing, and I'm like, how the hell do you do that? And I'm like, and I, and I see, I see, mind you, I see kids now. And I see, them, I sell them in big ass bags or whatnot, and I'm like, that would be like an instant, like that'd be like an instant trip to the dentist, man. That'd be like, oh my god. But then that's also my taste buds saying, oh Jesus Christ, what, what is happening here? What is happening here? Oh god. No, we're not. No. 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 Okay. There we go. I had to press it one more time. Okay. So anyways, guys, yeah. So this is, so did you, are, are you going out trigger treating this year? No. Yeah, of course. Um, Hell yeah. Well, trick or treating. People tell me all the time, they're like, hey, they find out I'm a candidate. They're like, they, you probably get that a lot too. They're probably, they go, so does it snow where you are? And I'm like, does it snow? Right. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. Damn right. But no, I'll, I'll say this like, um, no, we don't have we don't have the ghost bushes out here. We have a snow.
nose patrol, man. We were like going out and they, they had the big suits on, you know. Oh god, I, I swear to I swear to love Alright, if you guys want to know what this lovely game is in the background, this game is Overwatch. This is the lovely Halloween event that is going on they had every year. Oh my god. Yes, I love the lovely skins that they have. I think Blizzard has done a really, really good job with their skins. So I was just gonna say yes. But as aside as our lovely yes is joining us on this lovely Halloween night. But yes, Mike, you are also a streamer. So uh, how long have you been streaming, man? I came on uh, Mixer when they introduced Beam, actually. Oh, that I think September of 16 or I think it was 16. All right, nice. Um, nice. So I'm, I'm an OG Beamer um, when it came on the console for Xbox. And uh, I've been streaming since then, but I haven't been streaming consistently since say about may this year so uh like uh what type of stuff do you what, what type of stuff do you enjoy streaming uh you know usually the, the usual fortnite rocket league uh battlefield call of duty type games mm -hmm. um i do enjoy the occasional sports games uh kind of when that, that season comes around so like football i'm like really into the football now and then uh baseball and stuff like that when it comes around yeah, when there's not when there's nothing good to watch, it's like okay, yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna you know, flip on Rocket League for the hell of it. Screw this, bye Viva! I'm not looking at you. Okay, and then you hear something about Brazil <laughs> kicking ass, and I'm like, oh, yes. I, I I see this all the time, guys. Okay, hats off to you guys out in the UK, but oh my gosh, I play I played like Rocket League with some boys like playing Rocket League. They're from the UK, and I'm like. Dude, they're doing trick shots and they're doing they're doing shots that I don't even hurt that I haven't heard of and then like back flipping the ball behind them into the net and I'm like that's not funny. <laughs> and I'm like, like some special ability. Yeah, yeah, I'm like that's not funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it should be in my blood, but it's not because it's halfway down my blood, trust me, it's somewhere at half let's say half European on my dad's side, but I'm like, eh, it's, yeah, watered down, and I'm like, oh, yeah. My grandfather's like, yes, I play soccer. I'm like, oh, yes. Yes, and I remember, I love playing soccer, but I remember I used to be the kid back in my soccer league where I'll be, like, running, 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 and then stopping, and then I'm kind of not really running anymore, just kind of walk after the ball <laughs> after a while. <laughs> There's always that one kid, and then but then you know it's always that one kid because I was always went at the end of the game. It'd be awesome because you know what? I'd be the closest one to the Gatorade, like the Gatorade, like you. <laughs> be like, yeah, man. Like, oh my god! But I made sure that shit was drank. I swear to God. Swear to God. Oh god. But um. So um. So uh, why did you get into streaming in the first place? Um. Actually, I didn't know anything whatsoever about streaming until I, I discovered Beam. Um, I kind of dabbled on it, met a few people, and just kind of started streaming from my Xbox without a webcam or anything. And just since then, I've kind of gradually built myself and my equipment up to uh, green screen and, you know, the typical equipment that, you know, most PC gamers have. Green screen, webcam, all that lovely. Uh, some people, it's a, it's a, a mixer board, maybe. But not many people like it unless they're really. I'm sorry, guys. Just to let you go, I am aud I'm aud I'm audibly, I'm audibly impaired when it came down to that stuff because people think that oh my god, I need all the bells and whistles, but you really don't. <laughs> oh my god, I remember when I first started out, I had, I had freaking Apple headbuds for, for headphones. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> and then I found out the world of reviews, and I'm like, oh, my world, my wallet is crying. Oh, yes. Uh, but, I, but, sorry, I know, like, uh, Americans, so, I was, oh, yeah, I was in Alaska, is it still America prices to you guys or no? I was just curious. Yes. Okay. So, at least, you know, at least I could say roughly, I'm not going to say, like, I, guys, I spent a good $32,000 American, and I'm like, I never want to spend that much in my life again <laughs> ever ever <laughs> please let it be a car but you know no my girlfriend's still bugging me come on you got a car and i'm like oh honey you're good there too 
Oh my god. But yes, yes, knowing that, yes, with the season, with the season, there's also some... Okay, with some with some random questions, but I'll say, okay, out of all your, out of all the slashers that are out there, all the slasher movies that are out there that made it pretty big, what is your all-time favorite slasher movie that that you that, that you enjoy? Oh, okay. The Twilight Zone. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, just no. I just I'm uh, not not knowing that was just a uh, knowing that was a, 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 a TV show. Yeah, but no, me. I swear, like I will swear, I will swear, guys. I was a pussy when it came down to being a small kid. Yes, guys, you can be a pansy. You know what? It's okay. But I'm saying that, oh uh, yeah, with me, I'm scared of Freddy Krueger, and I'm like something about that guy's face did just not. It just didn't sell my stomach, and I'm like. Mm-hmm. I watch it now and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so fake. <laughs> oh my god. I laugh at it, but I'll, you know, it's still, I, I, I get cr- kind of creeped out by the, by the freaking, uh, oh, the Halloween, the Halloween music, like freaking the, the Michael Myers music. You know, the, yeah, that music, like, or the, yeah, that music scares the crap out of me, and I'm like, oh. I'm listening to the not so much the uh, Friday the 13th music. All the other shit, but I'll say this: no, man, that's just that's just really, really bad audible. You know, that's 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 like Darth Vader hacking in the background for all I know. <laughs> but um, seriously, but I'll I'll say that um. So, uh, do you have any uh, do you have any advice for people out there in my audience? You know. People that would like to get in streaming, or people that would want to try to get in streaming. There's a, there's a, there's a lot of, there's a lot of people, I'm sorry, um, we understand that, you know, when, when it comes down to it, like, you don't need the, all the best equipment, but when it comes down to gaming, like, if, I'll say this, like, like, even a lot of games are like, when we have on our, our consoles, we just put the game that's free, <laughs> like, some, some of the times, those games are always the greatest ones, we'll see that, because you know what, because, uh, yeah, I was never a Fortnite player. <laughs> I was never a Fortnite player. <laughs> and some guys are gonna kill me. I'm like, oh, I, I played way back. I played, I played way back Battle Royale type stuff when it was a twin scene. And then I went down to play Fortnite, and I'm like, I played it vanilla. And I'm like, what the hell is this? What's this? What is this? Like literally, <coughs> oh my god! It was yeah. Cool. Yeah, that Halloween. Like, mind you, it's kind of like when I was like, I was kind of only cringing at the PlayStation Network. I'm like, oh, the game with the same game twice in the same year, twice in a row, and it came out with Friday Thirteenth again. And I'm like, wow. I am so surprised. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. As much as I like that, the game is a good game, mind you. But I'm just like, oh, is this like, why to do it again? <laughs> but I'll say this: there's a game, Dead Beyond, uh, Dead by Daylight. Freya Krueger scares the crap out of me in that game because you, you know every time he shows up or he's following you or not, you always hear like. The one, two, Freddy's gonna get you. You hear the, you hear the, 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 the kids singing, and it's like, no, oh. no, yeah, but at least like, you only, you don't have to worry on like uh, Friday Thirteenth. It's like one guy, one guy, and it's like okay, but then no, but then pretty much with a lot of things on Dead by Daylight, you can get screwed over in many different ways. <laughs> like. They came out with so many traps ever since they came out with the pig. Or with uh, so you know, somebody that's a good killer. Oh yeah. Or no, it, I hate I hate when you get a good killer and then just toil with you after a while. 
Those idiots that drag you out to the hatch and let you crawl to the hatch and then pull you away and then drop you. Let you crawl in. You're done and then It's like, are you even trying? But I like though, I like, I like do uh, 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 high back here though. The guy from freaking the guy from freaking uh, uh the uh Left for Dead, Left for Dead. I always call him Scruffy, because I'm like, yeah, Scruffy, I'm like, Scruffy, you're not gonna catch Scruffy. I'm like, you know what? This goes for the, this goes for the determination of the team. He's the old guy. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I find him so freaking hilarious, because it's hilarious when you see this old man. He's actually out running a freaking, well, a freaking killer or whatnot. He's out running. <laughs> it's like... There's so many times you could slash with this guy with a hook, but still! Oh my god. Um, I'm gonna say, like, uh, where would you like to see yourself in five years from now? In five years as far as streaming? Streaming. Streaming what? Streaming. Uh, honestly, you know, numbers are good, but it's not everything. For me, no. it's all about being genuine and staying true to yourself and just being honest and, and genuine with your people, your community, and show them that, you know, they're not just somebody that pops up on a stream. Yeah, yeah. Because I find that, you know, it's it's mainly, it's mainly, like, that's what it, that's why I like how you did, you did bring that point up earlier about pick a game that you're generally going to like because if you're having fun, your audience is having fun and you also got to engage in your audience too because if you're not talking, on your audience, they're kind of gonna get bored, and they're gonna leave within like it's the first I hear it's the first five minutes of a stream <laughs> that people are gonna give. There's I've always heard there's three types of there's always three types of followers: people that would follow you because they like the game that you're playing, people that will want to follow you because they're like, hey, they're like, hey, you know what? I know this guy. You know what? Hey, I'm gonna you know. I'm gonna lurk and watch his screen for a little bit. For people that don't generally know you at all, and they're like, and they're like, this guy's freaking hilarious. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this dude. But there's always, if all the follow, all the three followers are good. But I'm saying that that last follower that's good at, and doesn't know you, that's the one that's gonna stay. And they're the ones that are going to come back because if you can actually entertain them, they're going to be like, "Wow, he's actually entertaining them and watch shit." Oh my god! No, no, she can come back. You know, the, your friends or whatnot. Sorry, sometimes it's like you can't always rely on people. Obviously, with your friends or whatnot, like sometimes you know, sometimes they just like, a pity, a pity, a uh, a pity follow. It's like. You don't know they're gonna. You don't know if they're gonna really. If they're really following you, or they're really stopping by your content, and then you ask them about their, about your content and what you did that day, and it's like you said that you watch. Then you should know what happened. <laughs> it's like oh sorry, and then like then the truth comes out when they're like no, I didn't watch. It's like really. What's up? Oh my god. But seriously, it always, I find that sometimes, you know what, you're always going to get people that leave when people go from the stream. But really, got, don't worry about the numbers because think about, like, keep on talking to the camera even though people aren't in your stream unless per se. Because they say, if your stream is still going, hey, and once your stream ends, um, people might actually come and watch your stuff even when you're not online. And those are the people that, like, those are going to be the people that, like, stop by and they're actually going to see the value in your content. So make sure that there's value in your content by also actually care about your content and actually give a, give a damn about what game you're playing because if you're generally excited, you know what, people are going to be excited with you. It's just, there's too many people out there where they try to fake it, and it doesn't work. And really, like, you just be yourself, because 
there's people out there like I'm not saying that there's it's, it's a bad thing because there's you know big streamers out there like Doc Disrespect he has his own persona but you know what he's been able to craft it over a, over a long period right now but I'll say this uh not that he's not he's not any, he's not any good at what he does you know what I'm saying make sure that you guys are original and be yourself you know what it's not about the followers or the views or you know or, or all or just the numbers but i'll say that it's just about in the channel at the end of the day when it comes to any of your content hey people i'll say this i'm a i'm a, I'm a really really bad example for this i am a i am a, i am a perfectionist but when it comes down to it in, in being a creator, even a streamer or whatnot, like, you're always gonna second guess, like, you're gonna always not feel 100% about your stream, but people will enjoy it, and you know what, if people enjoy it, it's important to them that they enjoy it, and they see the value in it, and you gotta actually look in the mirror in yourself and just be, alright, it stays how it is, it stays that way. I'm just going to keep on doing this. Don't let other people tell you what to do or not to do. Because, um, I'll say that, that I'll say that, 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 I was going against my own rule there, but I'll say this, um, you can learn from other people when it comes down to, like, your stream and stuff like that, because there's people that'll be like, hey, bro, your video is off. And then they're like, oh, those people you can learn from. Be sure to understand that you're gonna get you're gonna get people that say you suck, and then I had one guy say that you suck. I'm like, oh, I'm like, why do I suck? He's like, you suck, me, you suck. I'm like, wow, we're going back to we're going back to third grade on this one. Like, yeah, okay, sure, why not? I'll take. I really value your opinion. <laughs> it comes down to it that. You're gonna get creative criticism wherever you go, but you gotta take that effectively because it's like even with the big guys out there, it never ends. And the fact is, it just keeps on going and getting bigger and bigger. And you're not gonna get anywhere by giving up or giving up because someone told you to give up. Because you're gonna get a lot of no's. But sooner or later, if you keep on just doing what you're doing it, and you love what you're doing, those those what those what's and those, or those no's are gonna turn into yeses. And the fact is, you're gonna meet people who are just as passionate as you are in your not maybe not exactly in what you're doing, but I'll say like people that have the same passion, they have the same drive in what they're doing. But they can believe that you, that you're passionate about that by listening, by hearing your story, and by listening to you. But also, that's where it's also networking, 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 make friends, and also like it's not all about just being like I, I know like comedians are great. No, I'm not saying comedians are, are not great, but I'm saying that there's no perfect community. Like, when you have found, like, when you game and you can have fun with you just being yourself, the fact is, and you've had a fun group of friends that just watch you, like, to do what you do best, and you know what, those people are going to return, those people are going to, like, keep on coming back, and you know what, you just make friends with those people, and just, hey, it's, it's but I find a lot of people, they, they try to find a community, and they're like, ah, well, what, what's the best one I should go? What's the one, should, what is the best one I should I go and I'll go with? And I'm like, there is no best one. There is only the right one. And I'm like, the right one. And I'm like, the one, I'll say the right one is the one where you're totally, you're totally cool with, but also the one that is the least rating when it comes down to like obviously don't be in an organization or be in anything unless you like even if you're sponsored by something like don't like don't 
stand up for anything you don't believe in. Like, don't sponsor stuff that you would not agree with. If you fully believe in it, sure, why not? But I'm saying, like, be true to yourself and just stick to your guns a lot. Because just like, um, it was multi, it's like multi, like, um, like it's, like, it's like platforming and whatnot. They have different platforms. People say, Twitch, YouTube, and then they'll say one's better than the other. And you know what? They're both kind of the same thing. But they go along, they go along with things differently. But they both have their strengths, they both have their weaknesses. But you know what? It's everyone to their own. But yes, I was going to Steve, stop. Anyways, yes, I'm just, I'm just, usually when that happens, he's like nudging me, so I'm like, dude, I guess he wants me to go through his candy because he, he's really getting really freaking frustrated with this. But anyways, but thank you, thank you, sir, for being the guest on the show. Alright, well, see you later, okay? Bye. Alright, well, you know what? Yeah, Steve, I'm going to look through your candy, just you know. Steve, no, stop dancing, Steve. No, no, no. You you sit your you sit your, your beaver ass down there, okay? Okay. All right. Well, I hope all you lovely guys, thank you guys for stopping out for my Halloween spectacular, spectacular here. You know. <laughs> oh my God, Vincent Price, you scared the crap of me just doing that. Anyways, but I'll say this, guys. When it comes down to your trick or treat. Fun, you know what? Just keep on having fun. But also, guys, you don't. It doesn't matter what age you are. But I'm saying, like, when it comes down to your candy and stuff like that, let it grow up. Look, go pick through your candy first. Trust me, they pick out the best candy. I know, I do myself. But no, guys. So please, 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 guys, please hit that note. Please leave me a like because I like bacon. You like bacon. We all like bacon. But you know what? Hey. You know, step that off because you know what? I love bacon. You know, I love bacon because if the fact is, it makes me me. It makes me awesome. And you know what? My my whole my whole household knows if I don't get my bacon, I'm just a bastard. And trust me, my girlfriend, she's just like, honey, you're not. Um, even if I don't get my pen, bacon in the morning, I'm not pretty. But then she's like, honey. She's gonna fight me on it. Don't even make a comment on in the comments because I swear to God, she'll fight me on it. She'll say, "Honey, you're not even pretty to begin with to wake up to sad, wake up beside in the morning." And she's probably right. But no, guys. So please, please hit the notification bell to stay up to date to all my new videos. And I'll and, I, and you know what, guys? You you guys have a happy Halloween. And I'll see you guys in the next video, guys. See you guys.